Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about what's new in iOS 8.2 Beta 3. If you're wondering why I did not make a video on iOS 8.2 Beta 2, it's simply because nothing was really new in that update. Of course, WatchKit was added with the initial release of iOS 8.2 Beta 1, but I didn't feel like there was worth covering iOS 8.2 Beta 2 just because simply nothing was new. So that brings us to iOS 8.2 Beta 3, and there are actually some changes in this update, which we are jumping into right now. And the only new changes in Beta 3 have to do with the Health app, so after we've gone ahead and launched up the Health app, heading over to the Health Data section and going to All, we can see that the Blood or Blood Glucose section has been reintroduced in iOS 8.2 Beta 3. I've read that the Blood Glucose was actually taken out of the Health app in a previous iOS 8 update for whatever particular reason Apple took it out, but now it's back. So if you do need to track blood glucose, very nice that you can see that that is in fact back in iOS 8.2 Beta 3. Also, there is a slight redesign for how the actual info section of blue cl blood glucose or biotin or active calories, any health data card has a slightly redesigned health data view. For example, show on dashboard was on the very bottom and now it's at the top of the view. And also something very cool, and this is what I love about the new iOS 8.2 Beta 3 Health app, is that there's actually a description of what you're looking at. For example, if I head over to, let's see, blood pressure. Let's say I don't know what that is, for example. If I scroll down to the bottom of my page, it'll say blood pressure is the force of blood push against the walls of your arteries as your heart pumps blood. And it's not just for blood pressure, you can actually learn about any single one of the available health data cards. So for example, biotin, if you go on that, you can read about that. You can read about caffeine, calcium, carbohydrates, so on and so forth. I just think it's really cool that you can learn about something that you may not have even heard of ever before. And guys, that's just about all we know is new in iOS 8.2 Beta 3. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and subscribe for more content related to future iOS updates. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.